16 points for him. Uncovered. And the shot is long. Oh, easy look there, but, you know, he misses those once in a while. Here's Schroeder. He kicks it to Lopez. And the pass to Schroeder. He dishes it to Cephalosha. A strong finish under heavy pressure all over. And the Hawks lead by five. Here are the Lakers with the ball. They've gone in a 10-2 run, not allowing much. Clarkson kicks to Wayne. Outside, Scola. Wade against Hardaway. Wade passes to Clarkson. Scott pulls it in. Scott's got three rebounds now in this one. Here's Schroeder. Outside Hardaway. Pass to Scott. There's the dish to Schroeder. Right side Hardaway. Good on the triple. Hardaway has got five. And that kind of defense is just not going to cut it. Guys, they have to get a hand in his face. Here's Clarkson. And he comes off the screen and slams it through. Boy, that's some physical basketball out there. I'm glad I'm not in the middle of that. <laughs> a hard pick and an assault on the buck. Old school stuff there. <laughs> there was a lot to like on that play. Well, the Lakers are in another one of those transition stages, and they've not had many in the history of the franchise. But they do need to start looking for that next superstar to build the team around. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've had a number of empty ones a long time without a basket. Yeah, that's awesome. You're right. Most any NBA player can make you pay when you leave them that wide open. That's why you have to stay alert on defense. And Atlanta has possession after Dwayne Wade hitting the three. Lopez a screen. Schroeder dishes to Lopez. Hardaway kicks to Cephalosha. Rebounded by the Lakers. Still anybody's game at this point. No question. And this becomes a very big possession here. Savage. That's, that's the way to get some momentum on your side. Absolutely. Those dunks can really have a deflating effect on the defense. And especially coming from a guy out of the backcourt. Pass to Scott. Little turnaround. That's good. Scott's got six points. As you said, Kobe's starting to get to the age where you just don't know how many years he has left, especially with all the injuries. And the Lakers are even working now. Who's going to lead them in the future? Timeout called the Lakers. Adding on to that thought about the Lakers, Clark, they have seemingly always had one of the top players in the entire league to go around. Yeah, that's always been one of their um, key pillars to success. You know, Magic, Will, Jerry, well, I can go on and on, Elgin Baylor. And they thought they might have had Dwight Howard, but now they're in a bit of a search to find the leader to take over once Kobe is done. subbed in for Luis Scola. And a change for the Hawks. Samuel Dallenberg is checked in for Brooke Lopez. Wade kicks it to Tucker. Here's Clarkson. He's got eight. There's a screen. Los Angeles needs to get off a shot here. And they force the shot clock violation. Great D. 
Quick hands and the ability to anticipate the opening to create a turnover so valuable especially for a guard as we see two tremendous talents with their ability to steal that ball away. And of course you look at the numbers John Stockton with 3,265 steals over his career. Really a crazy number averaged over two a game and even in his later years he was a threat in that regard. Those are what we call confidence building blocks. Wade passes it to Clarkson. Here's Tucker. And there's the feet to Wade. And over the screen for Wade. He trains it as the shot clock ticks down. Wade's got 21. Pretty much all of their buckets coming from inside the paint now. Yeah, that's five of their last six baskets inside the lane. They have really established themselves inside. Now, here's Scott. He has six. It's stolen by Randall. Wade kicks to Clarkson. No good. That would have tied it. Mike Scott, a second-round pickup for the Hawks. He's gotten an opportunity with their injuries. Just about doubled his minutes last season. A consistent offensive threat off the bench. And he's improved that three-point stroke as well. Now, here's Scott. And it's Wade with the rebound. What's it fly from 18? Shot. Wade's got 23. And for Scott, where he still needs to improve is on his defensive side. Exactly, Kevin. A little more than a speed bump on the low block, and his rebounding numbers fell drastically last season. He's already 26 years of age. But, uh, I still think it's there, but not as much as we thought initially. The Lakers trail. Here's Clarkson. He's got eight. Out to Wade. And it's wide right. Hits off the rim. That's his comfort zone, so defensively, a really nice job challenging the shot. And the Hawks making a change here. Still anybody's game as we've reached the end of three. Hawks on top, up by one. And we're coming right back after this break to get the fourth quarter underway. The Hawks leading. They've got Bryant. Randall up there with Dudley. Then it's Turn. And it's Clarkson in at the point. That's the Laker five. Six on the shot clock. Scott. Shot is blocked. And as it goes out of bounds, Atlanta able to keep the ball here. Four on the clock. Charity stripe shot. And it's good. Scott's got the first basket as we get going in the fourth for the Hawks. Here's Clarkson. Feeds it to Dunley. Passes it to Clarkson. Randall dishes to Bryant. Side, Bryant. No good there off the double clutch. Boy, have they been hitting the glass hard or what? Kind of surprising in such a tight game. Yeah, you're right. Very rarely will you out rebound an opponent like that and not have it pay off. 
Now here is Horford. And that one's good. And the Hawks lead by five. I tell you what, you don't want to allow too many of those kinds of baskets with the game on the line. Now this is when defenses have to protect the basket with everything they've got. Force the offense to shoot from the perimeter. Kicks to Bryant. And it's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shots. Well, Kobe Bryant last season for the first time introducing high tops as his custom basketball shoes, looking to provide a little more support for that injured Achilles. The free throw drops for Kobe. And Kobe had been wearing ultra-low tops. Do you think that contributed Clark at all to his Achilles injury? No, I won't point to that. It, an Achilles injury is a freak injury. I mean, it can happen um, any number of ways. It's just a freak thing, in my opinion. Brooke Lopez is checked in for Mike Scott. And Kobe drops them both. They're locked in from the charity stripe this half. Not a miss yet. And they're going to have to continue that pace, Clark, because they're down, and anytime you're losing, you got to take advantage of every offensive opportunity you have. Lopez kicks to Carroll. Teague the pass to Horford. Randall grabs the board. Randall's got his third rebound on the night. Turner with a screen on Teague. In the corner, it's Dudley. Here's Clarkson, Teague covering. Clarkson kicks to Dunleavy to tie it up. Atlanta with Lopez has got four rebounds now tonight. The Hawks leading by three. Dishes it to Horford. He feeds it to Lopez. The Hawks need to get off a shot here. A nice shot by T. This guy will really make you pay if you leave him enough room outside. Fourth quarter keeps moving right along. Three minutes gone so far. And Bryant kicks to Clarkson. It's a nice passing here by Los Angeles. Here's Randall. Oh! oh! Ridiculous! Tore it down that time! <laughs> There it is, guys, that old lady defense. Just watching him go Clark right by. I think we might be seeing which team is ready to take control of this game. Yeah, that's a dunk that could absolutely get them going. I agree, Clark. Corbett kicks the team. And he uses the glass on the lane. And the Hawks lead by six. Took advantage of some shoddy defense there. They've got to at least get a finger on it. Clarkson kicks to Dunleavy. Handle with the ball. Tries it from nine. And nothing but hair on that one. You know, they've built their lead here by doing all the little things well. And one of those things has been rebounding part because they have really come out and taken control of the boards. Lopez pushes the two. Terrific assist, a nice finish, solid play all around. He's their go-to guy when he shoots the ball like he has today. That's what the scoreboard usually looks like. And the Lakers call time here. You know, Brooke Lopez is a devastating score from the right block. And his size, it's really tough to bother that shot. And really, it comes down to whether he makes it or not. And most of the time, he makes it. Merlin's Noel checks in for the Lakers. P.J. Tucker comes in for Mike Dunley. A moment to check in with Doris Burke. Doris? Gentlemen, Byron Scott had some advice for his team in that last timeout. He told them to stick with what's worked to this point, saying, listen, they're giving us all the space we need inside. Let's take advantage of it. Keep working the ball inside the paint. Thanks, Doris. 
And for Brooke Lopez, the next evolution of his game is improving as a passer from the low block. Yeah, you know, you have to punish teams for double teaming. 